Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 with no fair fights. We have done the Raider quest and we demand payment. So you do not hear a lot of news, I take it. Hey, what is it? What now? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. Okay. If you say so. Um, we'll now make a little supply run. Meaning we're just going to the place we were as just a second ago. And try to get as much stuff as we can and bring it back here. And then we go and rescue the settlement that was in trouble. We have no gun with us. We have nothing with us to be more precise. But uh, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It'll have to. We are regenerating health, but at a very, very slow rate. There are some perks that I could take, theoretically, that will increase my health regeneration. Um, but we need our points elsewhere. I have not yet decided where to put our five points. I'm, I'm really thinking of putting them into strength. Because sooner or later, we'll have to increase our strength. And I could do that now. Why not do it now, but do it later? If you know what I mean. It, this may not make any difference in the end. Okay. So today's mission is... Rob this place clean. And we'll do exactly that. We'll go all the way down into the caves that we're just that we've just been. Start at the bottom of that. Well, nearly at the bottom of that, and then we try to carry as much as we can. However, I'm aware of the fact that we, even if I would increase my strength, and even if I only take the absolute maximum. We have no way in hell to get all the stuff that is down here. But we can try our best not to leave too much behind. So, we keep our eyes open. Well, actually, we, s we should start at the bottom, shouldn't we? Whoa! Extra evil traps. I even didn't see that one. That's the point when you've got the the skill that I have. Yet you're basically ignoring uh, foot traps and that stuff. Not a lot of cover. You keep moving. Combat armor, automatic assault rifle. No, I think we'll leave that here. That is the automatic assault rifle, but that's a very, very heavy weapon. Assault rifle. We take the pillows. There's nothing in here for us. I think we killed one more person here. Then again, it seems like I'm wrong. This was a veteran. Is there anything up here? Just another trip wire. Ooh. Wonderful, because bonus XP. We don't take the combat rifle. We concentrate on what we're good at and that is looting the important stuff. We will not even be able to carry that to its full extent. Sadly. Razor grain. Cautioned. We take everything that has bonuses to it. Why? Because I cannot craft any armor specials. I 
Oh boy, all the combat armor in the world. Look at this wonderful stuff. Bleated fiberglass. Oil canisters always are always to be taken because you can make wonderful oil out of that. Theoretically, we could um, use this workbench to get the modifications of the weapons and therefore spare weight. That is possible. We're already carrying too much. Come here, my friend. Hey, just point me to it. You want to swap supplies? No problem. Actually, I want to give you all the stuff that I cannot carry. Which is a lot. I should not give you any kind of... Now, 14 kilos for that weapon, that is extensive. Somebody went to a lot of trouble digging this out. I wonder what's down there. Why did I take that? Had no real reason to take that, did I? The mining helmet, I mean. That's pretty much useless for me. Wielding goggles. What do you have? Okay, let's go to the crafting area and try to rip that stuff off. Okay. You will be stunned. You will be stunned. You will be stunned and you will be stunned. The mining helmet is normal. Polymer is better, so there you see. Okay. That is not as good as I thought it was. Pocketed. So, now that is all normal stuff, right? So, we can drop the armor now. Uh, drop, 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 drop. We still have the modifications. Excellent. At least that worked. I should think about getting myself a weapon, though. Can it be? Okay, nothing else here. You sure you want to go any further? Hello, uh, sir. I'm pretty sure. Bolstering left arm. Mining helmets. The problem is that we need so much stuff. Hey. Preston gravy. Sure. Here's my supply. Um, I will give you all the junk. At least he's able to carry all that.
good. I must still assume that there are more of these monsters running around. A lot more, actually. Subway token. And we're overloaded again. Great. That is all rubbish. Let's put up the stuff or take the stuff from the um, undead here. Or ghouls. They're not really undead. But this sense. It is. Heads up. Okay. I'm listening. Wonderful. That worked. There is so much stuff here you would not believe it. Wait a minute, army fatigues? Yay! Bonus movement. We can drop this and that. That will give us some additional movement, which is excellent and welcome. Didn't I kill more ghouls here? I was pretty sure I killed some additional ones. Obviously, I did not. Duct tape is always welcome. Now, we could dive in here, but we've got no hazmat suit, so that would be unwise. Heads up. Go ahead. Okay. This is what I've got. I will give you even more stuff. You're pretty cool, pretty good at carrying stuff, I just noticed. Okay, but you cannot carry any more than that. Okay, but the good thing is we can actually equip all that. Not that it helps any, but... Fine by me, fine by me. Oh, look at this. Can we... Well, how much do we have? Nearly no carrying capacity left. And we have very little ammunition for any of the weapons, so it would not make any sense to go deeper into this place currently. Yes, we could increase our strength. Yes, we could then carry 50 kilos, even 60 kilos more, perhaps. No, I think it's 50. Unless we invest the bonus carrying capacity into a perk. There is a perk that allows you to carry 50 kilos extra or 50 units extra, which actually means for two points you normally only get plus 20 for carrying capacity because two points in strength. You can get 50 out of this by using two perks. And we're carrying too much because we've taken the shovels. Okay. We could eat the rash tack. Rat stack which will increase our carrying capacity. Excellent choice. It's really a shame that we cannot take more of the of the stuff with us. This would be a bad place to take a wrong step. We're not taking any wrong step. We're taking only right steps, my friend. We've got this.
but I admit we've got a big carrying problem. And if I remember it right, one of our settlements is actually under attack, which puts an into which puts us into further dismay because I think that place is pretty, 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 pretty far away, and going there will take a lot of time. And while all that time, our outpost will be under attack. There are the powered legs. Yeah, we must get here and get all that armor. That is a problem indeed. Hmm. But we're simply out of carrying capacity, no matter what we do. But I bet there is still a lot of very, very, very good stuff lying around. I could have saved some of the carrying weight by dismantling the weapons. That could have been an idea. The stuff is already disappearing as I see it. And our food will not let us go for an indefinite time. So that will be a problem too. Let's see if they've got something we absolutely have to take. Leaded polished metal chest piece. I don't think that leaded is that good. Hunting rifle. It's okay with me. We don't absolutely have to take that. I can eat, in theory, I can eat one more rash tag to carry more stuff for a certain amount of time. Okay, everything here has been cleared. We can go over there because I'm pretty sure that there's some dead people there as well. However, we must be careful not to fall down to our death. That would be counterproductive after all this is just a supply run. I think dying on a supply run would be a very poor choice. Anything useful? Well, depends on what you call useful. We've taken our share of items. It is night, so, or it's getting darker, so that will help sneaking if we run into any resistance. However, playing survival no mode means that one or two bullets can kill you easily. And will kill you easily. That's the reason I didn't invest points into endurance, because... Well, Endurance gives you bonus hit points, yes, but in Survival you're taking so much damage from each shot that I'm not quite sure that Endurance will make that difference. However, point taken, uh, every point counts. No matter what. I wonder which outpost is. I think the, the it's the outpost that is always under attack. The um, star drive in. I should really make that more defendable. Where is Preston Gravy gone? Don't tell me the guy is missing. Preston, come with me. We must go here to our little outpost. Look alive. Okay. And now I want to take all your stuff. Yes. And then I want to transfer all that. Good work here. The armor fatigues, that is rubbish, that is rubbish, that is rubbish, that is rubbish. Drop that, drop that, drop that, we keep the water, 
We keep one stim pack. We drop all the ammunition. Um, I should really keep the modifications because they might be useful. Radar, no, I think we keep the combat armor mods. Um, combat armor shadowed that is leather we're not interested into leather ammo we want this but we didn't don't need that many we need about a hundred and fifteen of that okay where is my super weapon there it is An armor appeal um, destroyers helmet destroyers leg cunning reinforced this one the army fatigues we're already wearing the ten suit we always take with us the eyeglasses for perception the hazmat suit mantis graves overseer's arm guard Aid. Um, how much water do we have with us? Three. Okay, that has to be enough. Ah, crap. Okay, are we fully equipped? We're wearing the destroyer's helmet. Actually, we don't want to wear the destroyer's helmet. The destroyer's helmet is nice, but we don't need the intelligence at this point. So we drop that. We drop this um, we need a head well, yeah, I thought we had a head didn't we here for more perception excellent choice So, inventory, weapons, wonderful choice. Lost patrol. One of our outposts is under attack. Okay, it is Star Drive in. Let's put on the map. Oh boy, Star Drive in is all the way over there. Oh wait. Just While we're here, we can do the right thing and get rid of the radiation. And then we're heading right for the Star Drive in hope that we arrive in time to save their butts. However, I'm pretty sure that this will not count um, as a mission to make Preston Gravy happy, happy, sadly enough. And I fear we have to take antibiotics then. I still have one unit of antibiotics with me, so that will not be the major problem. 
We're fully armed and armored. So whatever we encounter on the way, unless it's um, scorpions, because I personally hate scorpions, um, we're fine. We'll, we will be fine. Scorpions are an absolute menace. Okay, we'll have to drink. We have a carry capacity of 100. Oh, yes, because this, the, the rash tank is still in effect. That's the reason we have 150 um, kilos of transporting capability. Where to next? We're going to the Star Drive Inn. The main question is where to put the points that we've gained it. We could point them into Perception and level Perception up to 10. However, I'm not fighting a lot with um, VATs. So putting points in Perception is not necessarily Boom. Just as I said it, I use it. Okay, what is that in front of us? What kind of town? Map. Ah, uh, yeah, we should go around that. If we can. That is a place that might be problematic. I'm not sure if it's ghoul infested or otherwise infested, but it's infested nonetheless. By something. It's always infested by something. And we have to get out of this place. We have to reach our destination. Oh crap, Maya lurks. We're not in the mood of fighting Maya lurks. We must get to our outpost. If you do not arrive at your outpost in time, the outpost will be badly damaged, the settlers will be killed, and everything will go to... Well, not well in any case. Oh, crap, I knew it. Yeah, there will be more than that one, I guess. But that was actually quite good. Far better than expected. Normally these things are a huge threat. I could... the Starlight Drive is under attack always, or very, very often. One could think of um, giving it its settlers' weapons in order to help them defend themselves. This could be an idea. However, I do not have weapons to spare, have I? Well, we can have a look. I know a place where you can get an almost unlimited supply of combat armor. But the problem is the transfer, because while your chunk is being transferred all the time between all your settlements, if you have the supply routes, your armor is not. And I actually don't like that point. It would be far more or far more reasonable or fun to play if the equipment was transferred.
You are settlers, I assume. Okay, you are. Yeah, that's the reason I equip them with weapons. Sometimes even I know what I'm doing. Now you could argue that uh, Flamer is overkill for provisioners, but actually it's not. The Flamers are your police force. These are the guys that patrol the roads. These are the guys that keep everyone safe. for crying out loud. Good shot. So, why has Preston Gravy not fired on anyone, I wonder? Didn't we kill more of them? Okay, let's get into the fight. the rest of the guys okay was that all of them I think they damaged one of the turrets. Let's see. Yeah. Any more damaged turrets? Okay, we need more turrets here. The defense, although pretty high, is obviously not high enough. And if more defenses are needed, more defenses is what you'll get. so that this place is no longer attacked all the time because that is really annoying so what did we kill over there we shot someone down here useless okay up there is no one Marksman calibrated powerful whoa 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 Okay the board this that and this the muffled stuff Um yeah 
yes, 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 yes. I still wonder if there is not stuff with us that has actual weight. Now everything seems to be okay here. Combat. Okay. There is, as far as I know, no armor station here where we can work on our armor, which would be nice. Or which would help a bit. But I don't think we have that luxury craft my other keg we're definitely not doing that one red scorpion steak is excellent yunkai rips Good work. Okay. Uh, transfer the food that we don't need, which is a lot. Okay, uh, we'll need some of the food actually. We take two of those. Um, Myalurk queen steak is not my favorite. Purified water, we take all of that. Red scorpion, roasted Maya lurk. Well, why not? Yunkai rips, damage resistance. Stingwit, felid. Okay. We really have to do something about the defenses of this place. However, first things first, let's rest. Good work, and we're ill, but we'll see about that next time. Until then, bye.